can you just kind of explain how you found out about these allegations? I understand they kind of ended up on your desk. Mm -hmm. How quickly did you then pass that along? I um, was actually sitting right here and looking at my morning mail, and there was an inner office envelope. Open it up, and it had the two command officers' names on it and, and allegations that they were sending inappropriate text messages to female uh, patrolmen. So I literally turned to my screen and initiated myself, the Departmental Investigation Forum, we call it DIF, uh, put the allegations in there, uh, printed it out, signed it myself, had internal affairs come over, and, and called human resources for the city and that was all within an hour of me getting that paper so the minute we found out about it and we went ahead and initiated our investigation like immediately yes and when was this that you found out don't quote it's it's going to be on your paperwork okay. that you have i want to say october or november but i'm not 100 percent sure so, okay um <clears throat> i'm curious were these two sergeants on your radar for any reason good no. or bad no um i promoted them both um there if these allegations never arose, I would say they're, they're both, were both sar uh, solid sergeants. You knew them personally? Uh, uh, professionally, yes. I mean, it's not like we go to dinner with each other, but sure. I know them in the department, yes. Got it. Do you think, based on I, I, what we're seeing on, on social media, and a lot of folks are just wondering, you know, hey, these are serious allegations, and if they were found guilty, why weren't they fired? Yeah, that's a good question. Based on the evidence, and when you go through the hundreds of pages of reports you'll see based on the evidence based on what we could prove if I were to terminate these two sergeants it would have triggered an arbitration with our collective bargaining uh, agency the Toledo Police Command Officers Association based on the evidence I am I'm convinced that they would have not only got their jobs back they would have kept their rank they would have got their back pay seniority the whole nine years with no other discipline How is that possible? <clears throat> it happens all the time now, arbitrators are very, they're very fickle. You never know what you're going to get. Um, so coming to this plea agreement for both command officers, not only did we send strong discipline for one, incredibly strong discipline on the other, and it also sent a message to the 600 other officers that work for Toledo Police that I am not going to tolerate or put up with anything. And I, I just didn't want to put the fate of, of these two command officers' discipline in someone else's hands. I wanted to make sure that there was something that, was, that, that they got for this. On the other side of that coin, though, what do you say to the officers who <clears throat> will still be working with both neighbors and Gobble in the field, seeing them every day, mm -hmm. and potentially be threatened by that interaction? Well, um, Sarge, or Officer Gobble will never be in a command authority again. So. Um, we, we made sure that there's going to be no supervision involved with him. As for Sergeant Neighbors, we're going to make sure that he is not around any of the complainants that um, made complaints against him. And, you know, based on, on everything that's happened, both of them are going to be going through sexual harassment training that's sponsored by the city. We're going to be doing it again on the police department, and we're, we're going to make sure that they're doing their jobs. As I was reading through a little bit ago those documents, one of the things that really <clears throat> popped out at me was one of the accusing uh, officers says, don't worry, you're protected by those shiny things on your collar, essentially referring to the sergeant's mm -hmm. rank. Should the public believe that when you reach a certain rank within TPD that you are given some sort of a, a free pass, or what type of message would you want the public to understand? A absolutely not. I don't care if you have sh uh, Sergeant Chevrons on your co collar or if you have four stars. There's no level of rank that makes you immune to anything. I, l l the sign on my wall, rank does not confer uh, pop. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> e edit that out. Yeah, over here, yeah. yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, but. There, this is something I, I think the public will know that when they, they see this, the swiftness that, we, that I started the investigation and the discipline, they're going to know that we don't throw things under the carpet. We don't hide things. We don't sit up here on the third floor of the safety building and, and figure out how we're going to do damage control on this. We're going to start the investigation, and where it goes, it goes. Yeah. And immediately transparent. And yes. Give credit to, to yes. That. Does TPD... <clears throat> have a sexual harassment problem, or is this an isolated couple of incidents? I think this is not a bad barrel syndrome. This is the bad apples. And I think we, we've uncovered two of the bad apples. We've appropriately um, disciplined them. And again, 
this is going to reverberate throughout the department. So uh, not just command officers, and no one, no one is permissible to do this kind of thing to someone else. It, this is 2021. It's not 1960 where it was much more commonplace. It's hard enough to be a woman in a male-dominated profession <clears throat> and then having to endure unsolicited, unwanted text messages or comments. It's unnecessary. Um, it's, it's disappointing, and, and they both really, they disappointed me, they disappointed the city, the department, but more importantly, they, they disappointed the officers who they did this to. I don't know if you've ever been to a, a promotion ceremony. Every single time I say, including my own, the sergeant rank is the most important rank in this department. They're not only a supervisor and a, a manager, but they're a mentor and they're a role model. The last thing these women need, want, or desire is to have to navigate a, a, a command officer, a supervisor who's doing inappropriate things. They just, you don't need that, and we're going to make sure that it never happens. Two more questions for you. One, if this happens again, if whether it's internal, uh, others within your department, or perhaps somebody approaches you from outside the department and says, look, I had an experience with one of your command officers or officers. What should they do? What would you advise folks to do? Uh, come forward. We need to know about this stuff. When we're talking about sexual harassment, I understand the stigma of I don't want to. I don't want to make people mad. I, you know, they're my. They control my assignments. They do this. They do that. But we need to know about it because it's. This is me. I, I accept full responsibility for what happened as, as being chief of police. But if I don't know about it, I can't make changes. So uh, we're going to, we're working with the city to set up a hotline where, where if God forbid this happens again, that our, our female officers or male officers for that matter can call and remain anonymous and we can get the ball rolling investigating. Uh, I know you touched on it before, but just on a personal note, how, how are you feeling, you know, just aside from returning from vacation, coming back to this, but just all of this together and seeing the result and kind of what transpired over the last several months, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm disappointed. Um, I'm sad that these, these complainants had to go through this. Uh, I'm sorry that they had to endure it. I'm sorry that the city, uh, city's police department has this black eye. Um, but at the same time, I'm confident that we're making, we're moving forward. We're being proactive. We're being transparent. We're, we're taking care of business. And, you know, two, two officers who made a, a very poor decision are going to be paying the price for this.